What's up everybody, John here from Old Running Farm. Today we are planning out our chicken village. So you can see right back there is where we cut down all those trees. Cue tree cutting montage. And where we're gonna put our flower farm. And then somewhere over here is where we're gonna put our chicken village. So you can see maybe right there, is that it? Right there, right here. <laughs> so you can see right here, we have marked basically where the edge of our chicken village is gonna go. Um, so it's gonna be a space that's about 120 feet long by 40 feet wide, and that's gonna give us plenty of room in there for everything that we planned for, and also some room for expansion. Because while we have plenty of acreage back here, there's lots of trees, and I'd rather not have to fell trees, you know, as precisely as we would need to if we had, you know, a whole chicken village planned out and set up. Um, so right now I'm just prospecting, um, putting markers down and measuring, uh, then we're gonna figure out how many trees we need to cut down and what our plan's gonna be like for that. Catherine's inside right now painting. We are coming very close to being able to move in here, which is super exciting. So yeah, I find this part of the job very exciting. Like, so it's so cool to one, just sort of be on our property. I always love that. Um, and then two, just like, you know, there's so much space out here and it's so cool to just be able to walk around and like envision what it's gonna look like, you know, three months from now. It's very exciting. But so I got my super long tape measure. And so here's what we're looking at. So there's a marker way down there past that cedar tree, right there. And so that is um, 120 feet from the property line. So we just want to make sure we're inset from that. All animal buildings need to be at least 110 feet from the property line. So we are far inset from here. This is the little marker that I have um, that's basically right on the edge of our um, flower farm. Um, so Catherine doesn't know this yet, but I'm planning, we're gonna put the two big coops right over here somewhere. Um, and you can see there is like a little remnant of a stone wall. So we'll probably put one right here and then one right on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my tape and put it there and I'm gonna measure out 120 feet, put a marker down, measure 40 feet, put another marker down and so on and so forth. And then we'll see how many trees we have to cut down and maybe we'll cut down some trees today. All right. Okay, Pebbles, what do you think? Smells interesting up here, huh? All right, so we have the entire spot marked off. Just wait for this wind to die down. Luckily, we don't have to cut this big guy down. So there's a lot of dead trees over here. And uh, like a couple people had come and, and said about our land, so it looks like it was old pasture. And so you can see like all the trees are pretty much the same height, so they all started growing at the same time and they're the same age. So you know, not like crazy well maintained or anything like that. Alright, so this is the northeast corner of our spot. Right over there is the uh, northwest corner and then let's see way back way back there is our southwest corner and southeast corner is let's see if I can get it mm, it is right over there somewhere <laughs> All right, so now that I have the whole area marked off, um, you know, it's a pretty big area, but um, not too, too many trees. So that's, that's good. So let's see, so we got, uh, we'll call that one. I'm only gonna count the major trees. Two, seven. That's a pretty big tree. Maybe we'll leave him. <laughs> yeah, some of these big ones we might just leave in. Um, but so it's only like seven or eight major trees and then, you know, smaller ones from there. And the plan is to just kind of push the brush off to the side 
the real plan is to take it and, and bring it like way up on the north end so it can start degrading. Um, and then, you know, maybe many years from now when we get down there, it'll uh, have composted and make some nice dirt. We'll see. Um, you know, we're just trying to put one foot in front of the other right now. Um, trying to do it with intention and with a plan. Um, so I think the plan right now is to start clearing this space out. There's a lot of deadfall down here. You can see all these trees are down. And it's so interesting, all of these cedar trees are just like dead and dying. There's one that's living right here, but clearly not living its best life. Um, and then there's just dead cedar trees all over the place. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, but so we may try to reuse some of those as like posts for the, uh, the run. Um, so that'll be kind of cool. Okay, so you can sort of see here. So our first step is going to be getting access to our spot. So you can see that's our first marker right there. That's going to be the southwest, southwest corner. Um, and then it goes off that way. So we're going to have a little access road coming from down over there. Um, probably between these two trees. And then we have an access road that goes way down there too. So what we're going to do is take some of this stuff out, throw it in the back of the truck, and then drive it down that way. So we got twofold. We're going to clear this up a little bit here uh, so that's easier to get in and out. And then we're also going to start just packing the truck full of stuff and driving it away. So this is the, gonna be the last trip we make down to here. Cause now that we got some room down there, um, we are gonna, I wonder if I can turn around there, that might actually be a better idea. Um, so instead of doing all this work over here, we're gonna just go straight back. You'll see. All right, so here's where we're at so far. You can see we got our trail cut from uh, our little entrance access road into where our chickens are gonna be. Um, we've done a lot of cleaning up over here, me and Rick. Uncle Rick has been an incredibly helpful worker here. Strong, noble, doing a great job. Um, and so we've been pulling all of the dead trees. We've been hooking them up to the back of the truck and dragging them off towards the side of our property. It's actually been working pretty well because we cut the path. Hold on. Yeah. Bunch of these weeds out here. Um, but you can see it's actually pretty flat now. There was a ton of stuff here before, but between dragging the trees over here, which you can see, so these are two of the trees that we brought. Um, and so we just cleared up enough space. Um, so this is basically where we're gonna be piling all of the brush. Um, and that's like a turnaround spot. But it has been going really well. It's been a pretty long day, pretty tired. Um, but this is the type of stuff that I really enjoy doing. Um, you know, it's, I think I've said it before, but like being able to like cut our farm, you know, from the earth, it's a lot of work. But to be able to like do it ourselves with our own plan, our own way, is just so cool. It's so cool. All right. So now the next day, got a ton of stuff done yesterday. It was a lot of fun actually. It wasn't able to do any work on it today. Today's Sunday. Um, but uh, got a lot done yesterday. So um, hopefully in the next month or so, we should be getting all these stumps removed in our flower farm. And hopefully some flatter land. We're gonna get these rocks removed also. It's treacherous down here. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna flip you around and show you what we're doing. So that is the trail, which is now much more blazed than it used to be. And uh, 
as Pebbles goes off into the wilderness. Blah, 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 blah. So this is the entrance, so there's a lot of rocks in here. Um, and over here there was a <laughs> there was a cedar tree blocking this, so we cut it down. Um, we took down a bunch of trees over here. And yeah, so this is the trail that we made from dragging all the trees. So, yeah. Got some wood cut up for my buddy Randy. And yeah, so now you can get, should be a clearer picture now. So there's one stake right there. There's one stake right there. And the other two are right there. And right there. <laughs> so we're like right in the heart of Chicken Village right now. Um, you can see there's still a lot of trees down, which we're gonna clear up later this week. Cause luckily, soon I'll be able to start working up here uh, pretty much all the time. So at lunch break, I can come down and cut some wood. When I'm done, I can just go right to working here. Um, but you know, for the time being, we still have some work to do up at our current house. So as much as I would like to just start rolling down here and like just work down here, we still have stuff that we need to do. So you can see behind me, these are all the trees that we dragged over here, um, which was actually really beneficial because you see this trail here used to look like all this and it had you know, all this tall brush. Um, so Uncle Rick, who was a big help yesterday, um, and always actually, Uncle Rick is the man. <laughs> um, so he clipped down some of the brush and then I drove the truck down here and you know, dragging the trees kind of rips up all the other stuff. So that was cool. And yeah, like I said, it's, it's cool to like have a vision for it and be able to do it start to finish. You know, like we are making this as we go. And the other thing about this little trail here is we were talking with my parents about having like a walking trail all the way around the property. And so this would actually be a good start to it. You know, you start up by the house, which is over there. And then you come down into the flower farm, you walk by the flower farm, and you come through here. And, you know, granted, it may not be the best thing to walk past the brush pile, um, but maybe by that time it'll be, you know, more of a fence. And then you can take a left and head north and head off to the other land. So anyway, getting some work done on the chicken village. It is exciting. You guys should check out this video I have here of my essential tools for building any chicken coop. It's a pretty good video. It's worth a watch. We put out videos on Mondays and Fridays. We go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you stop by and say hello next time. See you, everybody.